What's going on, guys? You got Quasi and Quasi Media Animation Studio and Quasi Media Network. Um, here today, we're talking about CEB Tortoise TTS. Now, Tortoise TTS in itself is an independent, individual add on all by, I mean, a program all by itself. But my guy Carlos Barreto made an add on called CEB Tortoise TTS. Now, when I say when it comes to this particular add on, there's a little bit of a workflow. Yeah, so you want to know how to install it in the description is the installation and how you go about using it. Okay. I'm going to show you what I do. I'm going to go from there. Okay. So you want to add more voices to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my folder here and I'm going to go to some dialogue. I did myself for my ROD series and I'm just going to show you how I go about it. All right. So let's come over here and we have my character crimson. Now these voiceovers are, me doing a rendition of the voice so what i want to do is grab this and i'm going to copy this okay and then i'm going to go back and in copying that right i'm going to come over here in the add-on itself now again if you already have it set up you'll know that it comes with specific voices already kind of ingrained i already have something here myself all right and then of course i would assume you already know those settings so i'm not going to get into that but what I'm going to say is go to open folder and it's going to take you to where the add on is so you don't have to keep going back and forth. So we're going to go into where it says tortoise and we're going to go to voices. So when you come in here again, I'll say this one more time, open folder, we can go to TTS tortoise, we can go to tortoise, we're going to go to voices. Now in here, I'm going to add a folder and in that folder, I'm going to name it crimson. Okay. And then I'm going to open that folder and I'm going to paste these voice files in here. Now, when I do that, I'm going to close this and when I come over here, it's not going to be there. I mean, it's going to be there, right? So it's going to allow me to be able to use that voice. So I'm going to go normal. I'm going to go fast and I'm going to give it three candidates. Now, the helpful thing is, is to open up the console. Reason for this is so that you can check your progress. Okay. So I'm going to give it a line and let's say that line is something amongst, um, let's say, uh, Okay, so I know that it tends not to want to, like to do longer lines in there, so it's better to put a script in there. And we're gonna hit TTS, and then we're gonna look at the console and watch how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna, uh, hold on, wrong thing. So let's just go along with that. I'll mute for a second. Okay, so it gave us three iterations of this. So you can see here when you click choose voice, it has three iterations of this. What I like to do is open the folder and go to where it says it put the voices in the results. And let's listen to those results. All right, so this is what it sounds like. You can do it. Only if you see deeper within. Okay, so that's the first one. Don't like it. You can do it if you see deeper within and that's not bad you can do it only if you see deeper within now that is that's the iteration for that right so let's delete that and i'm going to do another one i'm going to do three more candidates so we i can show you about consistency okay now you say well it had this funny sound in it well that's why you make sure that your sound is clearer because when i recorded those lines a lot of those lines were recorded on the phone they weren't recorded through my audio system um but nonetheless, we have it on fast. I'm going to put it on high quality. Okay. 
Now, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to make it higher quality, but it will take more time because we want to have a consistent voice. So you heard those three voice samples, right? All right. And I hope you could hear them. If not, let me turn this up so you can hear them better. And then we'll go from there because I think it may have been lower than necessary. And I'll do three more. OK, so we'll look at that and we'll just do three more. All right. Okay, so <clears throat> that's finished. Now let's go back in here and let's open the folder. Again, you can listen to them directly from Blender. I just like doing it this way. So we're gonna hear them. You can do it only if you see deeper within. So that's the first one. You can do it only if you see deeper within. All right. You can do it only if you see deeper within. So this is pretty consistent across the board, but the amount of samples. So again, if I come back in here, go to Torges and I go to uh, voices you understand that in here I only have six six samples and each one of these if I was to look at it um, let's say view well, let's say details so I had to come up here and let's say um, let's say I have length length each one of these are over 12 seconds a piece so having some that are, I would say at least they say five to ten seconds I say go as long as you can because you needed to be able to read those samples so it can stay consistent so that's really what you do so again, try to add as many as possible. I'll put six in here. I'll put up to 20. I don't care because I wanted to read those voices because this is pretty good. And I do recommend using the high quality one. Ultra fast, not so much, not so much, but high quality is great. And I say go up to at least five, at least five candidates. So you can have five different iterations that you could choose from. So again, I hope that helps someone. Um, and yeah, so that's all I got for you. Um, next video coming up is for HG in using hair card models or models like well hair cards, but not necessarily the HG4 version of the hair card, even though we're going to take a look at that. And then I'm um, going to also look at uh, using outside 
models so stuff that comes from maybe like if you have dads or a character creator you say you know what i want to use the hg model because i like it better but i would like to be able to use their hair card system you can export those things and put those on those models so i'll show you some of the stuff i've done already and also um we'll just go through the workflow i'll just show you my process on doing those things so that you can use these models still in other programs i.e game engines because i know some of you people some of you guys want to use it for that so with that being said none below catch you later